Hello my friends, Chuck Bailey with The Base Channel here and I'm bringing you something really awesome. Today, we're going to be talking about the Oracle from Arkham Sound. So this wonderful little box of magic is a single channel uh, bass preamplifier that was initially inspired by the uh, iconic Ampeg Portaflex series. Uh, it's got a wide range of tones that you can reach and I was really impressed with this and so was Chris. Um, specifically because you can get so many different versatile usable tones regardless of bass or circumstance out of this box. You want warm, you can dial in warm. You want modern, easily done. Vintage tone, thumpy, burpy, anything you wanna get out of this, this box can do it. Uh, we're gonna go over all of these settings and tones in the video, but, but definitely check it out. Um, they sent us the standard version, uh, that's the one that we're gonna be covering in the video today, but they also have a DI chassis version that you can check out uh, on the website. We'll put that link below. Um, with all that said, let's get into it. All tones were recorded direct into the wiretap and reamped into the Oracle. From the Oracle, the signal is going directly into a Tascam US 2020 and into Logic Pro X. We've also engaged our own cab sim of an Ampeg SVT 810 and Shure Beta 52. We have AB these, I promise you they are identical. The cab sim sounds identical. Don't, don't not believe me. This is a face of someone you can trust. So the features of the Arkham Oracle are pretty intense and in-depth. Let's start from the beginning. The input, a standard one meg input impedance specifically for bass guitar. Gain, adjusts volume between the two gain stages. The high switch adds a bright cap to the gain control with a gentle rise at 1.5 kilohertz. Treble and bass, the James tone stack offers flat response at 12 o'clock. Dime both for a mid scoop or dial back for a mid bump. Mid switch gives a healthy bump at around 250 hertz. The range sweeps the tone stack's midpoint anywhere between 150 hertz and 1 kilohertz. Low switch, it gives a bump at about 80 hertz without boosting any of the subsonics. The high pass filter or HPF switch has a minus six decibel octave at 100 hertz. <laughs> The 
faster volume, dial back while boosting gain for more harmonics and distortion. Otherwise, it acts as a volume. Output 1 for normal use, such as power amp, interface, etc. Or output 2, used additionally to feed a DI box. The 12AX7 is selected for good tone and low microphonics. Any brand 12AX7 ECC83 may be used specifically for this version. For less gain, you can try a 5751 or even a 12AY7 too. At flat EQ settings, the output provides up to 31 decibels of gain which is more than enough to drive a solid state power amp or modern recording devices. However, with tone controls dimed, it is capable of much hotter output levels and you should definitely be careful when you're adjusting volumes. The output impedance is 150 ohms. We would like to actually specify, because this was uh, sent directly from the manufacturer, Micah, and the team over at Arkham, uh, definitely be very careful. This device carries lethal voltages at 300 volts DC. If you remove the bottom panel, it can expose you to the risk of being shocked, even with the power off. Please contact Micah or another qualified technician if you have any issues with this uh, preamp. <laughs> I'm telling you, this this thing is is so much fun. Uh, I I had a blast getting to mess around with all these different tones and these different uh, controls. Uh, very easy layout, uh, super easy to use. Um, I dig I dig the whole chassis. I like the the kind of. Um, Tarot kind of feel to it. I, everything about this was really neat. I dig, I dig it a lot. Uh, the Oracle sounds awesome. I love that it's kind of a tip of the hat to the uh, to the Portaflex series, and the, the tubes inside really give you that that feel. Um, 
we were able to get such a wide array of, of usable tones, which is something that, that really um, I look for and kind of critique when I'm checking out outboard preamps and things like that, because oftentimes you'll have things where they, they sound good in like a linear setting where you're only doing one specific type of music or genre or work. And uh, in this facet, we were able to get multiple settings that were actually uh, very pleasant. Uh, I like them on all the bases we tried and we tried them on you know P's, J's, actives, passives, soap bars, uh, you name it. Even some classic basses like the, uh, the Gibson uh, that I was looking at over in the corner right there. All of it sounded great. It really does. Uh, definitely check it out. Thank you, Micah, and the rest of the team over at Arkham Sound for, uh, for sending us this. This is really rad. Again, I'll put the link below, or I won't. Chris will. One of us will. It'll be Chris. He'll put the link below so you guys can check it out directly. Uh, you can speak with Micah directly also if you talk, contact their support and the rest of his team there. Um, definitely check it out. If you're not a subscriber, click the bell, get the notifications so you can see all the content that's uh, past, present, and upcoming. And uh, if you haven't, you can also check out the uh, Patreon. It's, uh, it's very cheap and you get all the behind the scenes content for not only stuff like this, but for all the previous and upcoming videos that will be coming uh, the rest of the year. Uh, thank you guys very much for everything that you've done for the channel. We appreciate you guys. We love the feedback, and we hope you uh, you come back and see more. Until then, Chuck Bailey with the Bass Channel and uh, the Oracle from Arkham Sound signing off. Thanks, guys.